Okay, I'm just going to start from here. I'm calling this bringing the hammer down because I have to bring the hammer down because here we are in the summer of 2012 and we've just had an Olympics. We've just had an Olympics while Great Britain is rape, robbing and murdering around the planet Earth. They've put on a facade of, what, the world peace um, with a rather demonic uh, opening ceremony, but you can only go and watch that for yourself. I mean, it's, this thing is so boring and in your face now. We have to call out what the situation is in the world where, you know, you know in the world where, uh, don't get me wrong, I like the guy, Tommy Sotomayor is doing really well. He, the only reason he's doing really well is because he's speaking the truth. You can get as offended as, offended as you like, but, uh, you know, Afro synergy getting banned on the internet, left, right and centre, what for? For telling the truth. Okay, I mean, you know, Nigerians voted for the war in Iraq, uh, for the war in Libya, Sudanese voted for the war in Libya. These are nations of black people siding with the racist imperialist nations on the planet Earth, still trying to kill people, black people getting shot down, shot 40 odd times, old black men are getting shot 40 odd times, black men are getting shot in the head while handcuffed behind the back in the back of a police car, mixed race women are getting raped and shot in the back of the head while handcuffed in the back of police cars, um, people are getting killed, strangled to death and left on the pavement and they're calling it an accident because they were restraining, they were being restrained by police and it went too far, I mean, this we are out in the open. I mean, if you cannot see the teeth now, you really are part of the problem. Um, as we all know, the you know the workplace is a disgusting environment to be in. If it's not a meritocracy, if you're not there by merit, then you're there in some sort of a governmental system where arse licking and uh, racism wins the day. I mean, it's racist white men and sell out black women who are the unholy alliance of the day. They rule the day and um, intelligent black men are sidelined and ostracized. I had to make a statement recently saying that I ha do not suffer from any mental health problems, neither am I asthmatic and I do not have any heart problems. Um, the reason being is because I sincerely believe at some point I will be taken out or those who speak will be taken out. So many negative things have happened to me since I started my YouTube page where I actually speak. It's unbelievable. I mean, um, in, since August last year, a veritable cornucopia of negative incidents and police involvement and the raiding of my bank account and the raiding of my wages and basically it's open season on a Negro. It's open season on a sensible black man. The intelligent black men are going through hell right now and if you're not going through hell right now, and you're listening to the sound of my voice, that is probably because you're a monkey. It's probably because you're a coon. You like to smile, show all your teeth around white people to make them feel comfortable in the midst of some really horrible, negative, racist bullshit. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm about to be as successful as I have been over the last eight, nine years in the educational environment that I have been getting the young black boys into university. I, I, may, I think I might be, I think this might be my ninth clean sweep of a hundred percent. And obviously this, because this, you have to, uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because the, in, in the environment where I perform, there is excellence, but in every other facet of my life, Around what I do, there is name-calling, shaming tactics being used, undermining being used, because I, I, I think we are really at the point where white supremacy is falling. I mean, the, the, everyone is starting to see that the people in the positions of power are put there because they are friends, not because of ability. We're getting to a stage where we are in a recession, and in order to pull yourself out of recession, ability will be called upon. And unfortunately, we are lacking ability in business, we are lacking ability in um, administrative governmental circles. Why? Because racist, white supremacist 
views have been able to hold sway for the last, what, five years. Certain people have been put into positions where they're not going to make any difference whatsoever. They're not going to improve anything. In fact, they're going to make the situation worse. Look at America. You've had Barack Obama, that, that racist monkey. And this is coming from a black man. That guy who has caused black people to be put in a zoo in Libya. And the amount of idiot black people that voted for them. We have to pull the ladder up. We have to say, fuck these people. Yeah, Remember that woman who was saying that she didn't have to pay her rent now and she didn't have to put any gas in her car because Obama's now president? You know what? I was so abused by all of those people when Obama came to power because I was telling everybody, listen, he doesn't have your interest in art, he's corporate. Oh, oh and look where you are. So basically, I laugh and I spit in your face. Okay, look what's going on in, in, in Libya, the racism that's going on in Libya. Look at the amount of black people getting shot down in the street under Obama. Okay, and, and you've got your cinema shootings now and those are considered mental illnesses. But if a black man was to do it, he would have been a thug. If it had been uh, anyone of any sort of Middle Eastern extraction, we would have been, we would have been, America would have been bombing somewhere by now. We would have seen America bombing the hell out of some innocent third world country by now. Um, but when it's a member of their own population, then obviously, you know, he's the, the guy's had mental problems and, and he didn't know where he was and he seemed to be confused. And oh, yeah, 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 give me a break. I mean, basically what this is, is this is a tantrum. We are starting to see the stamping of feet from the inability of racist white supremacy to dominate, okay? It cannot dominate through just voluntary subjugation anymore because you have people like me speaking out and saying this is bullshit it's it, it, it's funny because there are other people that i admire on this internet that are speaking the truth you have 108 morris 108 who's been speaking the truth you have afri synergy who's been speaking the truth you have um tommy sotomayor who's been speaking the truth and all of these people without fail oh there's even a white guy that i follow called tino Brust. Okay, uh, you know the guy who has the profanity level, and like you see the veins popping out in his head as he, as he, as he, as he runs down the injustice of the current political system as we know it today. I mean, all of these people have suffered the very same COINTELPRO uh, attacks. You will be called a criminal. All of a sudden, someone will have your personal information, and they'll make that available. Does this sound, sound familiar to anyone? All of a sudden, you'll be accused of either being a paedophile or having some sort of uh, sexual uh, molestation or, 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 or sexual predator type of crime on your record. Okay, All of a sudden, um, you will be getting banned and flagged left, right and centre, frozen out of your accounts. Is this sounding familiar to anyone? Because this is what happens to people who speak the truth. But there was one video that I should have made some time ago that, unfortunately, I think right now I'm fighting 101 personal things that have stopped me from making videos. Well done, you managed, you managed to have an effect. Yeah, you managed to have an effect. I had no heating or light for three or four months due to an unscrupulously immoral landlord. I had to sort all of that out with my own personal finances. And as soon as all of that was sorted out, I was told that I had to move out of the house. Now, obviously, I'm not going anywhere because... I know exactly what's happening to me as well. There's a there's an opinion I should have put out into the ether some time ago, um, and that is you have to watch who you're following. There have been people that are set up on YouTube recently um, to ride the wave of black male discontent, only to such an extent as when the wave breaks, they're going to roll everything back with the black woman is God. Uh, what do you mean by that? Am I a self-hating individual? No, I'm not. But I can see the 70, 72% um, illegitimate birth rate out there. Uh, we can see the whole deadbeat dad from Oprah onwards has fallen apart now as the sensible black men start to regain their position as potential head of the household or they are affirming their intention to be head of a household as soon as they get with a partner. And all of this rollback now is starting to get people really on edge. Starting to get people really on edge. You know the only 
environment black men can converse with each other to hear sensible opinions has been YouTube and 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 thus those with the most sensible most um, resonating opinions are attacked undermined and banned but you got to watch out for your you got to watch out for your um, oh, God, let me go okay let me give you an example I, I came onto this thing before I found my elders and the people that gave me solid grounding for um, logic and rationale as well, as well as spiritual beliefs. There were a few people that you had to take in. You know, there were those people who'd been there from the very beginning. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mention names. Um, I used to follow the God 720 for a bit. Yeah, right up until the God 720 started advocating the writings of Madame Blavatsky. Um, right until he started posting um, voodoo rituals, um, right until he started, you know, do you remember the 2012 video that he made where he said that white people would start exploding in the streets? Well, it's 2012. Are we going through our period of light now where the photons will cannot interact with the, um, um, the, the white body and so they will start to exp I'm still waiting for white people to start exploding God 720. Um, it's quite funny because he, like several other people, sell black history to you. Now, in my opinion, because of the because of the white supremacist structure and the power of the white supremacist structure, black history needs to be given gratis for free. It is ours and it is free. And I understand certain people go through uh, production costs to make certain videos. Well, okay, we'll go and buy the video from the stand. Half of these things that I've seen are bootlegs and resold as bootleg. So we have the God 720 selling an entire library of black history, which really would have advanced the entire race at least a decade or two had he made it public. But then obviously that's not in his intention. He wants to make money. He wants to make money of our own history in the same way churches make money off the Bible. Okay, I don't see that as an honourable thing. Let's look at um, another... Po but, but remember, I used to follow this guy as someone to look up to until you get to a certain level of personal clarity and personal knowledge where you start to realise that these are Judas goats. Um, what's, the other, what's the other guy? Um, the other Black Power guy up in Brooklyn. I can't remember what his name is. Um, but um, I remember at the time of, um, I, I think he does the House of Consciousness, and I did follow him for a long time, but I remember at the start, they used to advocate the black woman is God. Right when we had ghetto gaggers coming out and all of this stuff, the black woman is God. It's like, okay, you're trying to keep us asleep, okay? The, the, the only way that we can fix a problem is by identifying the break, and when you identify the break, we can fix the problem, okay? And if you're trying to divert me away from the break, then you're preventing me from fixing the problem. And the funniest thing was when they came out and did that video, what was it? Are, do black women see uh, white men as an enemy to black people? And most of the women said no. I believe they shot themselves in the foot when they made that video. They shot themselves in the foot because I know that that little camp there with the natural Tahuti black woman is God thing is the most moist, the most moist of the black power philosophies. Okay, because they refuse to address the negativity that has been perpetuated by black women and fostered by the white media. They refuse to address that. So when they made that video, they, they also, I, I think they were just jumping on board and that video took off and became viral. Every now and again, they release a video where they roll back that opinion. But you have to be careful who you follow. You have to be careful who you follow and you have to come up with your own opinions as to why you formulated your own views. Okay, Because, you know, there's the, for, for eight positive things the house of consciousness might give you two of them will be erroneous um uh, uh totally uh incorrect and um outweigh the other eight positives for instance during the libyan invasion um i believe they were espousing the view that colonel with the black people shouldn't worry about what's going on in libya don't worry that we're deposing Colonel Gaddafi because after all, Colonel Gaddafi usurped power from a black man in Libya. 
which is absolutely, I mean, where do you do your history? Where, I mean, I, uh, I, this is the type of thing that makes me angry because you could just do a 30 second Wikipedia search to find out that um, Colonel Gaddafi deposed King Idris, who was a Western European back lackey who did nothing but exploit his own country and allow the West to rape, rob, and pillage the oil reserves. Colonel Gaddafi was the one who made all Libyans a, uh, a shareholder in the oil reserves. Colonel Gaddafi was the one who made sure that all Libyans were able to reap the benefits of the oil profits and utilize those oil profits to redevelop or, or rather to develop uh, water pipelines into the arid regions of Libya in order to create more farming areas. All of that's been destroyed. I made a video some time ago about uh, um, Timbuktu being our tree of souls in the sense that uh, there were still incredible libraries over there of history written in Arabic that still required decoding. We look to America and we find that they have this institution called the Nation of Islam, where they believe in the Quran. Unfortunately, they don't believe in their own history enough to go back to Timbuktu and translate all of those Arabic manuscripts to help us regain our position on the world stage in terms of knowledge and esoteric knowledge and, and scientific knowledge and mathematical knowledge because the information still resides there. Unfortunately, we're starting to see the Turag people who've been kicked out of Libya now coming back to Mali and creating some sort of civil war, which no doubt there will be a militant Islamic group there funded by what? Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda? I mean, for goodness sake, Nigerians need to shut the fuck up. Nigerians need to shut the fuck up because right now the West is about to go in and plunder Nigeria. Now, if, if you're in the UK, like I am, you have your West Indians and then, then you have your Nigerians and your Ghanaians. West Indians always get on with Ghanaians faster than they get on with Nigerians because Nigerians have always thought that somehow they were a superior form of black person. We were the ones who went through slavery. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you guys are the monkeys, okay? You guys are the monkeys giving your, or, <laughs> tripling the price of your oil, okay? You guys are the monkeys tripling the price of oil. Uh, I'm just going to have to take a break for a second. Hold